In this video, we are going to quickly discuss the most basic of the principles of geology, the principles of original horizontality, superposition, and lateral continuity. But first, let's think about the way that sand settles out of water. Here I have a glass full of sandy water that I am now stirring and stopped. The water is still moving fast, and because of that it has the energy to suspend the particles. But what happens when the water slows down, or stops moving? Those particles fall out. See the layer of sand on the bottom getting thicker and thicker? Now think about a river coming down from a mountain full of sediment that enters the ocean. At first, that river is going to have a lot of energy and it's going to be able to carry that sand. But once it hits the ocean, it's all going to slow down, and then all of that sand will become deposited there, right? Right. These first three principles describe that behavior and relate that to the rocks that form from these processes. So if we're going to go into nature to see this deposition, then this is what we would likely see. Horizontal layers of different kinds of sediments in a basin that are either in the process of lithifying into sedimentary rock, which just means lithifying just means turning into rock, or are already sedimentary rock. It would not make sense for these rock units to form vertically or curvy, right? Okay, so from this observation on the small scale and from the direct evidence we've been able to find by following rock units in large canyons like the Grand Canyon, we see the principle of original horizontality, which states that sedimentary rocks form into horizontal layers. Next, let's think about the relative age of rocks. Look at the sandstone at the bottom and the limestone, which is always drawn with a kind of a brick texture above it. Which one formed first, do you think? There are really two options. Either the sandstone formed first and then the limestone sediments deposited on top and lithified into limestone. Or the limestone layer formed first in a void space or with a void space underneath it. And then the rock layer was filled up with sand underneath, right? And that in that void space and then became rock. Now. I even I had a hard time describing that process because it doesn't really seem possible, right? But which do you think it was? Now, before I give you the answer, I want to show you why it's the answer. So go on a thought experiment journey with me. Imagine your laundry hamper. You can even go look at it after the video if that helps. In your laundry hamper is several days worth of clothes, probably. Now, which laundry is the oldest? Or in other words, which outfit did you wear and discard first? The one on the bottom or the one on the top? Right. Well, in most cases, your laundry hamper will be the same as the ocean with the oldest clothes or rocks on the bottom and the youngest on the top, right? Going younger and younger until you get to the top. And what this is, is the principle of superposition. Older rocks hold up younger ones. Just like us, rocks stand on the shoulders of giants. Now, let's think about a really big laundry hamper or a really big ocean. Let's say that your laundry hamper is actually your bathtub and you always throw your clothes in on one end. A shirt is only so big and so it won't fill up the whole bathtub, right? Only a shirt's worth. Okay, I'm going to abandon this analogy. It's starting to get silly. So instead, imagine an ocean. A sand is depositing it in, but it can only be carried on the waves for so long before it falls out. Now, the sand won't cover up the whole ocean floor, and the sand won't deposit too far away from the beach, right? And that's because the river bringing it in um, has high enough energy to carry it away. So there are going to be edges to the sandstone layer that forms. There will be an edge wherever the basin stops, and there's going to be an edge if the sediment thins out too much and can't fill the basin. Are you following me? Now, if that be then becomes rock and it gets lifted up above the ocean, above the basin, right, a gulch or a river valley or a canyon might form. But if it does, that new feature is not an original boundary. What this means is that the rocks on one side of this new feature will be the same as the ones on the other side of the new feature. So that's the principle of lateral continuity, which concludes this video on the first three principles of geology, or the principles of stratigraphy.